box trap, closing door mechanism. I know it's going to work. It's the Jadenator, and it shouldn't take much. If the ladies don't find you handsome, they should at least see that you're smarter than a fish. You got the eel. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Because we have the uh, stocked pond on private property, I can try an idea I've had for years now about uh, a cage idea with an automatic shutting door. I really want to build this trap. I think it's going to be an interesting project and maybe see if we can put it a little deeper, get some GoPro footage and uh, get the fish setting this uh, box live trap off and uh, just see it in action will be just awesome I know that you could make a trap like this uh, with bush material but let's just see if we can get the door to work and just use manufactured parts for now like uh, lumber whatever I need to get the concept <laughs> the concept perfected and then I know that it would work in a survival situation so, of course, a lot of the ideas I have, um, I can't just go ahead and do because uh, you're not allowed to. But here, I'm allowed to do this. And so, as a result, let's get this trap built and see how it works. I had success with my homemade net, as you remember, with the two eels and a koi fish. So, hopefully, this trap will work as well. So... We'll go and get some parts and see if it's going to work. We got it. So I just got some uh, plastic wire here, some screws, and some boards. I'm going to build a frame, make an automatic door, and then bait this trap up and hopefully catch one of them big perch that are in here. That's what I'd like to do so I can do a catch and cook. A fish trap. No more playing around. Do you see how fast Dude. that was? It's faster than that other one. That's for sure. Okay, put those away. Grandpa Gray, you give all the wood to me. Okay. Then, then I will put it right here. Okay. I'm going to be the one to... I'm drilling You are? Yeah. No, so you're stripping it. You're gonna push hard. No, you're gonna have trouble, I think. It might not be quite the right bit. We maybe wanted a bigger one. So we gotta pull this together. See, if you don't drill a hole, it'll split because we're right near the end. Nothing wrong with spending time with kids, even if they're not doing it right. How else are they going to learn, right? So, and then he says, well, when we catch a fish with this trap, can we cook it on the fire? I said, you bet we can. <laughs> so, it's in reverse. All right, okay, out. Good job. Here's a screw. Now we got to drill another hole. Are you going to drill it? You knock the camera over. Well, my dog does it all the time. <laughs> well, we're getting there. We're starting to get there with it. Yep. Okay, so we got the main frame done. Jade and I, uh, he gave me a hand drilling and screwing, and we got our frame. We got to wrap it with our plastic wire. Let me see. Do you want some? No, I don't. Okay. What's it for? Just your breath? Yeah, so you don't have stinky breath. Oh. Well, I do anyway, but... 
So that fish you caught, that was a big one, wasn't it? Gilbert helped you catch it? Yeah. But you got the first one uh, when I helped you. What did you get? It fell in there? Yeah. Were you, you were chasing the truck? Yeah, yeah, Papa saw Why? Because he wanted to come with it. It's a new lawnmower, eh? Are you going to get to ride it? Yeah. When? I already know to drive the bobcat. One, I almost skipped it over. Right in the front, right in the back. It's driving so fast and it tipped over. It, which tipped over? The bobcat. You didn't tip it over, did you? No. It almost. Was all, it was only on two wheels on the back. Oh yeah. It was falling backwards. Holy. Quite the story. You hear all these crickets and frogs? It's just unreal. When it starts getting dark, it's I mind you I haven't heard it this loud before. But it's just nothing but crickets and frogs everywhere. My grandson Jaden, uh, my daughter was telling me, he was on TikTok and he saw a guy starting a fire with two sticks. So she suggested, well, your grandpa, he's good at that. So he can maybe show you how it's done. So I'm going to find some bow drill parts. And we're going to have a barbecue tonight anyway. So I'll see if I can get the fire going with the bow drill. And he'll be so impressed. It'll be just unbelievable. He just had his birthday two days ago. Just turned five. So I'm sure he'll say some funny stuff. I always like it when kids uh, make funny comments. So we'll see if we can catch them off guard saying some funny stuff. That'll be cool. It's light. It smells to me like it's cedar. Probably just use a board like this for my fireboard. Well, this smells like cedar too. So, I think I'll just attempt that. So you cut... Where'd you cut it from? Oh, watch it. I cut it from... Oh, yeah. There. Well, I might be able to use this for my bow. Is it going to help me make a bow drill? And yeah. start to fire with sticks? Do not. No, because it's going to help, Papa. So you want me to make it your, myself? Yeah, I'm going to help you too, I mean. You want to see how it's done, don't you? Yeah. Is this one of your mom's trees? No. It's pretty dull. Maybe your saw is better. Watch the camera. Don't hit the camera with that. Okay. If, the, if I hit up here... Well, you don't want to hit anywhere. Actually, your little saw works better. Little kid saw works better than that sweet saw. I don't think the parents knew, his parents, mom and dad knew, that he was out cutting branches off the shrubs they planted. <laughs> it's getting hot in the Australian sun again. Okay, I'll get it out for you. We don't have to go very far. You know, we just gotta watch the bobber. Just leave it here and I'll tell you when to grab the fishing rod and just give it a tug, okay? We're taking a break from uh, doing the bow drill. We'll try to get you a fish, hey? <laughs> yeah. Where did you see the guy start the fire? With the two sticks? I'm um, a TikTok. TikTok? Yeah. Did it take him very long? Yeah. Well, did you know that your grandpa won a gold medal for bow drill starting? Did you? Yes, I did. Oh. Just a little while ago. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Ah. 
I got it. We got flame. The gold medal goes to. We're gonna make this round and cut a notch, get a string on here, and then we spin it real fast and we'll get smoke and fire. You wanna do that? Yeah. But you didn't know I won the gold medal for bow drill? No. Huh. Yeah, I sure did. Uh oh, no, don't cut that one. I need this to cut my notch here. Okay. Yeah, you see, it can cut buckets too. Yeah. Let's see if I can cut a notch. Let's see if it's going to cut wood. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who sold this out? If it works, it's very good. That's good if someone sold this. Very good. <laughs> okay, so what should we start the bow drill fire tonight? Yeah. You got the best guy to show you, the gold medalist, huh? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. What do you think of that? Yep. Okay. Grandpa Greg, I see you. Yeah, I know. I got the camera rolling, so that's not gonna work. I gotta figure out something different. Well, you have to stay away from the camera and Jenny, not, you can't uh, block the camera. Yeah, you can't knock the camera. I'm block the camera. Jaden, stop. We're trying to get a video. You can get closer oh, by Papa, you won't see come it. Out. I think smoke's gonna come out. Oh wow. You see the smoke coming? Yeah, yeah it's gonna make a fire. Oh, you see the smoke? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I got her. Unfortunately, I went out. <laughs> but that happens a lot. Have to do it again. You get so tired. <laughs> I need my knife to shave this down How a bit. How will you do it again? Well, you know what? Now my arm needs five minutes. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you get old. Okay, well, today I'm going to finish my fish trap and get it in the water and uh, hope for the best. It's actually a little cool out. I had to put my big coat on. It's not that warm. This is the hottest month of the year here in Australia, but it was pretty cool this morning. So, But if the sun comes out, then it'll get so hot that you can't take it. That's the way it is. But Jaden was saying, well, if we catch something in our fish trap, Grandpa, uh, are we going to be able to eat it? I said, well, of course. I mean, if you want to eat, uh, do a catch and cook, you came to the right guy. So, get this thing in the water, and then uh, we're going to cook it up if we catch a perch, is what we're after. We're not going to eat the koi, but, uh, and we can't eat the eels because they're protected, or else I, I wanted to try eel, because I think that would have been cool. So, uh, got my lumber to finish the trap. I know why there's so many accidents over here. They drive on the wrong side of the road. Okay, so I'm here with Jaden and we're gonna finish up our fish trap. And you know what I was thinking? I think we should name it after you. What are we gonna yeah. call it? Um, fish trap. How about the Jadenator? <laughs> huh? Like the Terminator, but it's the Jadenator. I'll be back. So, we're gonna make a special door for it. This is gonna be the coolest trap that you've ever seen. 
And you can actually use it on land for like rats, oh. neighbor's cats. Just kidding. <laughs> Probably work for big snakes too. I got the door right on. So I just got to put a hinge on my door. I got my sides on. Got her. So I'm thinking what I have to do is use a flat board so the string winds every revolution around the stick to give me more length. Gonna have enough pressure to hold the door. Yeah, it should be okay, you know. Well, it shuts it pretty quick. I don't know how fast that was. I think we're ready to figure out a trigger. I have to have a lot of pressure to shut the door. Two gate latches, two of them, one on each end. I had to put them on a bit of an angle or else it was too touchy of a trigger. Um, then I'll tie my bait line on the bottom one and it shouldn't take much. Hey, look at that. The fish will be able to pull that. Oh, look at, look at how powerful that is. We broke our board even. Snapped our board right off. Huh. So, we know we got lots of pressure there. We'll just tap this and we'll see how it works. That's pretty fast. The only thing I can think is, uh, I think it, I think it'll sink. I don't think I need to put a rock in there, but I'm not sure. And is the door going to want to float shut? So these are a couple of things that we have to take it down to the pond and see. So Grandpa Greg. <laughs> we're going to do a demonstration of the Jadenator. I'll show you how it works. We're going to cook it in the fire. Yep. Now see how much pressure there is? Dustin, Dustin, see, There's I a lot of pressure. Yes. Don't get near it now because that could break your fingers. It could break. Now I'll set it off so that you can see it. It could break your fingers. It can, well, I try to be careful. Now, the fish goes in. Just minding his own business. He starts pulling on the bait, which I'm going to tie to this one. Wham! He's caught. <laughs> very good, very good. Very good. That's going to catch a fish for sure. We're going to call it the Jadenator. He looks like this. <laughs> and he's going he's to get caught in there. Hey? He looks like... Glenn Greg looks like... Glenn Greg looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Talk about to dummy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh. We're just having a little golfing competition. I've never golfed before. <laughs> and I've golfed very little. <laughs> it's so funny, Greg. Ah, uh, a bit right, but your distance was good. I hope the battery dies first because this will be embarrassing. I've never shot at one. I'm not going to even warm up. I John, we'll keep these for later for when mom comes, okay? We can do marshmallows, so just leave them now. Except that I hit the floor. Not bad. Where did it go? Uh, the dog went and got it. Oh, yeah, to the left, Jack. Yeah. This one's going to be better. It's <laughs> my practice swing. No, it's not nice, like so I just love the big way he's putting the fish up on you by putting the camera on you. 
Yeah, never oh, that's shot. a good one. <laughs> Woo, that's done. Oh, oh, oh a little short, but still better than us. Oh. That was not too if bad. At least it was cut. going straight. If the yeah. glass is cut. Oh. It comes from cows. It comes from cows? Yeah, and it's called Botan. Oh, yeah. You like it? Yeah. No, oh, it is good, eh? It's yeah. like jerky. So what do you think of the name of the trap, the Jadenator? Wait, did you just hear that? What was it? It sounded like an animal. Yeah, but you don't have bears. Yeah. Crocodiles, maybe. Oh, well, that's the kookaburros. Oh. But you didn't see any crocodiles? No. You don't think there's crocodiles in there? No, there's no crocodiles. Are you sure? No. Okay. Yeah. Maybe there isn't then. Yeah, it's just a pond. We're going down to try the fish trap, the Jadenator, right? <laughs> yeah. We're going to try to catch a fish. Now we're going to see if this thing is going to... There's the turtle. The turtle's right here. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, he's taking off now. Oh. You missed him. Bummer. Is it just the one? Just the one, I see. Oh. Watch, you'll catch a turtle. Let me see. Uh, swam away, sweetheart. He's gone now, dear. He's gone. Okay, let's see if this thing's gonna sink. Oh yeah. Let me think. The only thing is, I want to see. Move back. The door. Ready? Move back. It's gonna. They want to see what happens with the door. Okay. Come on. Everybody, stay back. In case it goes off. Yeah, it looks like it might with everything being wet now. Yeah. See, the door is gonna float. Do I have to put a weight on the door? You got a rock out of there, eh? Huh. Stuck his head right under to get a rock. I tried tying some rocks on the door. And it's still... It's... You got to put a fair amount of weight to make that much wood sink for the door. So, and the other problem is and that that's going to slow the mechanism down. So, I'm going to go with a piece of metal for the door and that will sink um, but you know it's just like you remember the the uh, guillotine fish matic it took me three and a half months to get it to work properly because you keep running into uh, problems with all these ideas it's just an idea until you start working on it and then you start to see the issues and problems and you have to one by one rectify them this is a simple principle box trap closing door mechanism and i know it's going to work but the door's the issue it just keeps floating and if i weight it down too much with the water resistance the weight of the rocks it's just too slow okay okay well i screwed my, my metal door Seems to work quite well. Just gotta hook it back up. Test it. Just, that's even faster than the last door, I think. Remember, if the ladies don't find you handsome, they should at least see that you're smarter than a fish.
Yeah, she's getting me into doing that. Yep. camera off here. We got our eel. No, look another way, Teddy. Oh, he might get out. Look out. No, don't touch him. Here, let's let him out. Let's let him out. There he goes. No, I don't. I wanted to eat him. Huh? You wanted to eat him? Yeah. Oh, we can't because he's protected. We'll get a, we'll get a fish with the fishing rod. At least the trap worked. What do you think of that? Good. It's the Jadenator. So that uh, basically worked as planned. I had to have it in shallow water because this water is murky. You wouldn't be able to see if I, we went too deep with the, the trap. You wouldn't have seen it on camera because of the murky water. But one actually got out because the door didn't shut in time because I forgot to take my safety uh, mechanism off and then it only went part way. But uh, second time we got that one it's pretty cool to see it work underwater with the camera right on so that was pretty funny um when we caught the eel and uh jaden saying well can we eat it he wanted to eat the eel but uh i looked into it further actually these eels here in new south wales aren't protected so we're okay to catch them and we probably could have eaten it but he probably wouldn't have liked it and would have been a waste and uh, my son-in-law doesn't really want us taking the eels out of the pond uh, because they're good scavengers and they keep the place clean and clean up uh, the debris and dead fish and whatever so I thought that they were protected but in certain provinces they are protected um, Victoria where else did it say Tasmania but anyways you got to check into things so carefully it's uh, very complicated knowing where, what you can keep. Are they short fin deals? Are they long fin deals? I'm going to look into that a bit more today because I'm not sure if they're short finned or long finned. Let's try to identify them. For those of you that are able, Amos has set up a Patreon account to try to get him on his way so that he can focus on bringing you adventures and great videos. It's just amazing his skill set. And I know like economic times are very tough for everyone. The price of food, the price of rent and gas has just gone through the roof. So I don't want any of you to feel obligated. I know that a lot of people are struggling to get by. But if you're in a position, then uh, please uh, help him out with a few dollars so he can concentrate on on YouTube instead of having to work and do YouTube videos on the side I know when I started my channel I had to work for the first year at drywall and then try to do videos on the weekends and it was very difficult so seven days a week you're working hard at a trade and trying to do YouTube and it takes forever to get the channel up and running properly I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed with uh, the content that he's going to put out 
If you can get into this full time a little quicker with your help, it would be greatly appreciated. So if you're able to support Amos and the Patreon account, see the description below so that you can help him get on his feet a little quicker and he can bring you some awesome videos. Thanks for watching.